So in today's video, we're going to be bathing and blow drying a standard poodle. This is Cookie. She's a nine month old standard poodle. She's well used to being bathed and blow dried. Um, so we're going to just go through that today and you can see what's involved. So this is the shampoo that we'll be using today. Um, it's a two in one conditioning shampoo, which will make the coat nice and soft, um, but not too heavy with conditioner that it won't sort of stand up and, and the curls won't be too heavy. So, we've already diluted the shampoo, mixing it with some water here, just so we can apply it to the coat thoroughly. So, let's get cracking. So, Cookie's now on the grooming table, um, she's nice and clean, obviously she is still soaked through. So I put a towel down on the grooming table just to soak up any moisture from her feet. And with another towel, just wrap and squeeze her coat where you can. With a, co a poodle coat, you don't want to be rubbing the coat like this as it just sort of encourages mats to form. So wrap and gently squeeze all down the legs, on the belly, and just all over the dog, just to get off the worst of the water. Okay, so when you've got the worst of the water off, we're then going to use a blaster on her. The point of a blaster, um, sort of in the name, it blasts air quite powerfully into the coat, which sort of expels all the all the water on the coat and helps to straighten the, the tight curls of a poodle's coat, which is what you want to achieve when you're blow drying a poodle. Um, when we when we're blow drying a poodle, what we want to use is the blaster with a nozzle, um, which just sort of condenses the air to make it really sort of powerful and we'll blast the poodle dry until about 95% of all the water's gone from her coat. When, the, when we get to that stage, we'll remove the end of the blaster off, we'll turn the heat on low on the blaster, and holding the, the blaster at a distance, we'll then start brushing the coat with a slicker brush like this. When you're blasting the coat initially, you don't want to brush the coat, you only want to brush the coat right at the end when it's almost dry. So, back to cookie. 
usually with your dog if they're not overly used to being blasted dry you want to start at the back of the dog usually on the top of the leg and slowly work your way around the body getting to the head obviously dogs don't like it if you blow in their face or in their ears so just be quite careful when you get around the head so let's go As you can see, Cookie's been dried about 90-95% of all the water has been blasted out of her coat. Um, this next bit is when you want to start using your brush. As I mentioned before, this is a slicker brush. Um, you can buy these in any good pet shop or on, online. Um, you can get soft, medium and firm. This is a soft one. You've got to be careful using anything other than a soft one as they can sort of scratch the skin if you're not careful. So what we want to do is either rest your, your blaster hose on something or do as I do and just tuck it under your arm. Now that you've got your hands free, if you lift up your poodle's leg, when the air's pointing at the, at the hair, you want to brush up as the air blows like this. So you're making sure you're brushing every single piece of hair. If you brush down, you're just going over the top of the coat and not getting to the hair underneath. 
So always brush up. You can even brush the side and to the other side, but don't just brush down like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here she is. She's been blasted, she's been blow dried, and she's completely dry all over. As you can see, she's super fluffy now. So once you've finished brushing her with the slicker while you're finished and drying her, the next thing you want to do is get yourself a wide tooth metal comb, like one of these. Um, the reason for this is the brush should obviously make the coat all fluffy and, and like this, but with a poodle comb, um, running it through the coat will pull out any dead hair that's left in the coat and just make it sort of a bit more fluffy and make sure there's no knots or tangles left in the coat. Poodles are pretty high maintenance breeds so they do need combing quite regularly to get rid of all the hair. As you can see, hair's coming out with the comb. Like this. You just want to run through the whole body until you can get the comb completely through the comb without finding any more dead loose hair. And that's how you bath, blow dry, and brush and comb standard poodle.